Today we're going to talk about uh, configuring a Burker three-way solenoid valve. First, let's take a look at how the system is laid out. We've got 120 volts coming into a 24 volt power supply. The power supply is then going through a normally open contact in a mechanical limit switch. And when the plunger is pushed down on the limit switch, it supplies power, 24 volts DC power to the coil of a three-way solenoid. The solenoid is mounted on a manifold and there are a number of ports that are hard to see so we made a little drawing here but on the right hand side of the uh, manifold are ports 3, 1, and 5 and we have those ports plugged up. On the left hand side of the solenoid on port 1 we have our plant instrument air connected 100 psi air. Port 5 is plugged and in port 3 we have something called a speed control and this comes from uh, applied fluid power and the part number is 04508080 and the reason for having a speed control is we have to have a differential pressure of 27 psi across the solenoid for things to work properly so that may or may not be required in your application okay let's come over here and actually take a look at the hardware Here's our 120, more, 120 volts coming in to a 24 volt power supply. The power is 24 volts is coming to this mechanical limit switch and from there it's being fed to the uh, solenoid valve. Ports 3, 1, and 5 are plugged over here. Port 5 is plugged over here. Port 1 is our plant air coming in and port 3 has the speed control which has been adjusted. Here's the three-way solenoid valve and in order to demonstrate um, that there is actually air flowing we've put a balloon on the end of it which would be your piece of process equipment and so when we energize the solenoid valve well let's just see what happens. So as long as I'm keeping power to the solenoid valve air, air is flowing through from the plant through the solenoid valve, uh, out port number two on the solenoid valve. There's only one port to attach to. When I release the limit switch, de-energize the solenoid, air bleeds back down through the solenoid, through the manifold, and out through the speed control valve. That's all there is to it, folks. Thanks for watching.